Welcome to Stitch. Why worry about things you can't control when you can keep yourself busy controlling the things that depend on you? As I mentioned last week, I became a father recently and I'm learning fast that having any sense of control in my life at the moment is rather tricky as we are currently living to someone else's timetable and agenda and I, nor my wife, really have much control over our new daughter. When she needs feeding or changing or cuddling, everything stops. Apparently, at the moment, visits to psychics are up. People are desperate to get a glimpse into the future. The greatest motivation for visiting a psychic is to feel a sense of control. Sure, there are lots of things we can't control. Businesses may fold, stock markets plummet, relationships may end. The list is infinite. But wouldn't we be far more effective if we focused on things we can control instead? If we stopped worrying about the indefinite and started benefiting from the guaranteed? Right now, you can control how many times you smile today, how often you say thank you, how kind you are to others and to yourself. At the moment, I'm learning a new way of living and what I can and can't control. And I also know that as I journey through this adventure of fatherhood, this will continue and change. And I'm taking my own advice and controlling what I can and trying to let go of what I can't. Ajahn Kahana, a Thai Buddhist monk, once said, If you let go a little, you will have a little peace. If you let go a lot, you will have a lot of peace. And I'll leave you with that. Till next time.